Do you run a business? If you do, do me a quick favour. Get your mobile phone out and check your website. Do you do this? Or do you do this? The thing is that having a mobile friendly website is the basic price of entry these days for any business, large or small. So in this video, I'm going to explain the different options for building a mobile friendly website that you can be proud of. I'm going to explain why having a mobile website is no longer an optional or a nice to have. I'll show you how to check if your website is mobile friendly or not. I'll show you the best options for building a mobile friendly website. And I'll give you my recommendation for building a fantastic looking mobile friendly website that won't break the bank. Does that sound like a plan? Come on then. Let's get cracking. Hi, I'm Tony Messer, the founder of PickaWeb, the web hosting company that helps businesses get online, get found, and get more customers. I've worked with thousands of businesses of all sizes, and I've helped many of them get their websites mobile. So first up, let's address one fundamental question. Why bother? Well, there's only one answer to that, demand. It's official. More people access the web these days via mobile devices like tablets and phones than via traditional devices like desktops and laptops. And that trend is only going to increase. In a nutshell, mobile is the future of the web. Google knows this and that's why they're starting to penalise non-mobile websites. So really consider this point. Mobile isn't just the future, it's the here and now. So you need to get on board. So let's check if your website is mobile or not. The acid test is just to check it on a mobile or tablet and see how it looks. But what's really important is to check how Google views your site. So head over to the Google mobile friendly check page and check your website. There's a link below. If it's not, don't panic. There's a number of ways that you can address this. So hold on to your hats. Here we go. First up, use a mobile website builder like the one that PickaWeb offers. This is a low cost option, just a few quid a month. You get an easy to use website builder and you can create pages, add your logo, add your content and publish it side by side with your existing website. If someone browses your website with a mobile device, then it detects this and presents the mobile version. The upside is it's low cost and easy to use. The downside is that you have limited functionality and you're effectively running two websites side by side. So you need to maintain both of them. Another option is to rebuild your website using a website builder tool that has mobile friendly templates included. This does mean that you're gonna to have to rebuild your website, I understand that. However, the advantage is that you haven't then got two websites, the desktop and then the mobile version to maintain. You just have one website for all devices. Again, a low cost option, but you may be restricted by the number of templates that are available, as well as the hassle of rebuilding your entire website. The next option is to completely rebuild your website using a pre-made WordPress responsive template. I'll come out straight away and admit that this is my preferred option for a number of reasons. First, WordPress is the world's most popular web design tool. So you're future-proofing your website. Second, responsive web design is a really neat technique which allows your website to appear perfect whichever device it's viewed on, desktop, laptop, tablet, or smartphone. And the great thing is that you can buy affordable, ready-made WordPress responsive templates. And the quality is absolutely exceptional, truly world-class. Sure, you're going to need to get a developer or a web designer to customise the template with your content, your logo and your images. But the costs are much lower because the template is ready made. Templates typically cost in the region of $50 to $60, which is exceptional value. Check below for details of the templates and the approximate costs for customising. Finally, you could always get someone to build your website for you from scratch. If you do, you're probably looking at doubling or even tripling the costs as compared to using a template-based approach. It's also going to take a lot longer and you can't be guaranteed that you're going to like the end result. As I said before though, 
my strong recommendation is to use a ready-made WordPress template and get it customized for your business. So there you go, that's how you build a mobile website. If you found this video useful and you want more hints and tips to grow your online business, then download our free book, The Website Survival Kit. It's totally free, there's a link below the video, and it includes a three-step plan to help you grow your business. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. If you've got any questions or any comments, just leave them below. I really appreciate it, I do read them, and I will get back to you. Also, share it with your friends or anyone who you know who's got a business website. Thanks very much for watching, bye now.